Well, I think that learning context is an interesting problem and in that it can, you know, obviously affect behaviors. So if you're doing something collaboratively, you know, you, you, you might be doing different activities than if you're doing it competitively or by yourself. Or if you're doing it socially, you'll do it differently if you're doing it by yourself. But actually, if you kind of hold task constant, so you're not really doing anything different, like in an experiment, you can set it up to do that, you'll find that even processes in the brain that are related to how we understand action, how we attend to relevant information, how we remember, all of those are also modulated by context. So in cases where you're engaged in just learning something alone, um, maybe your partner's playing the game and you're just watching, you get very different kinds of responses than if you're watching your partner when you're expected to respond and contribute within the next few minutes. So when you're expected to contribute to something immediately, you get a lot more engagement of systems associated with attention and also a lot more like mirror neuron responses as you're processing your partner's actions. Um, you can also see that even if there are differences between just competing with someone versus collaborating with them, something as simple as how we understand the action, what it means to um, reach out and select an object can be modulated by something by some kind of overarching contextual variable such as collaboration versus competition.